from other interviews I've heard with you is like the importance of melody. I might think a lot of people can relate to that. Um, that melody is maybe what we listen to or most of the casual listeners listen to. Um, but what's your approach to, to you know, finding the right mm -hmm. melody and, you know, like you said, unlocking your emotions? Uh, I think probably to pick up the instrument often, like all through the day, try different times of the day in different rooms. If you have, if guitar is your instrument, it's easy to move around. You can try outside, inside. I think capo, so like things like the key, but also you know, the position of the key. So if you, a G up here has one feel and has one tempo, Same thing, if I re really high up, maybe. Well. So now that will, that's good ways to stimulate different parts of tempo, rhythm, and. And then so what, what I do is I play around with chords, capos, and settings, time of the day, all these things matter whether I have to whisper sing it or sing it out loud, be in the kitchen when everybody's there or isolate. They're all different feels. And they then I try things. I just sing nonsense words and I mess around. And what I also try is if I'm stuck somewhere in the middle of something and it's not working and I'm pounding it and I'm trying to think it's and I go, ah, fuck that. And then I just go. I changed completely. Just to kind of throw myself for a 180, and usually that's when something really like, and it'll just come out of nowhere because I'm, um, I'm almost tricking myself to be free. Hmm. So I, I use a lot of tricks like that. Right. But like you mentioned it now, but if you do have, let's say, half a song and the intro is awesome, verse awesome, but you can't just, you know, think about what should come next. What's your approach to solving that problem? Uh, <laughs> I would use a capo immediately right. and I would move where I sing it up, low, high. Should it be at the cusp? And then you get kind of a feel. Then I use voice memo mm -hmm. and then I record it. And then I can listen back and I can go. And then usually as a listener, oh, I know what it needs. And then something comes out. The one thing that rather than pounding something over and over, let me, let me rephrase it. I will force stuff on purpose sometimes just to see, okay. Because I know that at the right moment, I'm going to make a complete switch of approach. And usually something comes out. If it really doesn't work, I walk away. Hmm. I, I have guitars spread out in different places. And I also try to work on as many songs as possible at the same time. So I will have maybe 11 unfinished laying around. And then sometimes if I'm really in a, a space of writing, I will put them out so that I see them everywhere. So the sheets are everywhere. The li like they're happening all the time. When I go running, I listen to the, the 50 second snippet over and over and I don't re-record it. Once it gets more fleshed out, I go back to the original idea over and over while I write the whole lyrics like progression. Because that way I don't lose the, the small nuances of the melody. Right. That's, a, um, that's some good tips, actually.